Good morning, Bloom Children. This is the Friday Show. Coming on today's edition of Blooms, and we meet our one of our school secretaries. I am your host, Jeff Boyles. On activities, we have Marcus Hernandez, and on sports, we have Kyra Jouette. It is Friday, January 26, 2024, and you're watching Bloom Scene. Now for our top story, we continue to learn more about the members of faculty staff. Today we get to know our current secretary in the counseling office. Okay, my name is Mrs. Salinas. I am the counseling office secretary. And um, pretty much I make sure the office runs smooth, other than other um, things that I do, like filing, um, making sure the students uh, go to class and not hang around in here. Um, that's pretty much um, a little summary. When I was in high school, I was a quiet young lady. I didn't get in trouble or anything, and I did not. Um, and I was in soccer. That was pretty much it. I was not interested in uh, becoming a Bloom staff as I was um, alumni, but I did need a year-round job. Woo -hoo! Go! When I'm not here with my lovely students that come to visit me, I love spending my husband's money, going shopping, and going out getting some Starbies. Before Bloom, I was at H&R Block for around five years. I've been with Bloom High School, um, District 206, for two years now. Okay, you guys, this is it. I love you, Matthew Howard, a.k.a. Mateo. Bye. James Smith's Sonalias in counseling and college news, according to the FAFSA updates, parents without social security numbers should now be able to create a FAFSA ID uh, and and contribute to a student FAFSA. You should be able to create an account and check I don't have a security number. Unfortunately, the progress may be difficult and include identifying questions and possibly a phone interview for verification before the FAFSA ID is created. FYI, FAFSA ID is what we would have formerly known as a FAFSA pin. As a reminder, undocumented students are not doing the traditional FAFSA because they do not qualify for the federal financial aid, but this but they can complete the ISAC alternate application for financial aid to qualify for state provide grant and funding permit legal residents and still able to do the FAFSA and qualify for federal financial aid. Now in addition to after school tutoring, we have early bird tutoring if you need extra help in any of the subjects of the area early bird tutoring meets every Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7.30. Enter the school building through the front door circle drive. If you are struggling, this is a place to get extra one-on-one -on -one help assistance from our teachers. If you have any further questions, please see Mr. Turner in the council office. That's it for announcements. Let's go to markets with your activities. Thanks, Jasmine. Congratulations to our Mathletes team on their third place finish. In the conference, take a look at the screen to see individuals' awards. Special congratulations to Haladio Hernandez, who had perfect scores for his presentation and matrix algebra. It is time for Turnabout 2024. All students at Bloom are invited to join Bloom Trail High School as we celebrate Turnabout 2024. This year's theme is Masquerade Through the Enchanted Gardens. The dance will be held February 16th at Glenwoody Golf Course. Tickets are on sale now for $30 in the bookstore. Get your tickets soon because like last year, this event is sure to sell out. Any questions, please contact Ms. Mrs. Miller or Ms. Winters. 
Softball open gyms have begun at Bloom High School from 315 to 515 and go Tuesdays and Thursdays for the next five weeks. Meet in the girls' PE locker room to get dressed. The open gyms will be strictly hitting field, throwing, pitching, slash catching, and strength and conditioning. If you are planning on trying out, it is important that you come and work on being a better softball player. If you have any questions, see Coach Skultz in the PE area. Football has also started at 3.40 p.m. in the weight room with Coach K. And the football coaching staff on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. That's it for activities. Now let's go to Cairo with sports. Thanks, Marcus. This past Sunday, January 21st, the Bloom Special Olympics team played in Regional E High School basketball tournament. They ended up placing second place. Congratulations on an awesome season. The boys varsity basketball team faced Thornton on Tuesday. Unfortunately, we lost that one. The boys played at Cree Monet yesterday. We shall have a score on our next show. They are away at Lola Academy this Saturday. The boys are currently 12 and 6 overall, 4 and 1 in conference. Next week, the boys are away in Thornton and Kankakee and home against Proviso East. The girls basketball team also faced Cree Monet yesterday. We shall have scores for that game on our next show. Well, the girls are currently 17 and five overall, four and two in conference. Next week, the girls play Shepherd, Rich, and Rich Phillips. The boys and girls track team begin their seasons away on Saturday, February 3rd. Boys volleyball coach Mr. Alexander is looking for boys who may be interested in joining our team. Trials are scheduled to be held at Blue Trail on 11th. And 12 and possibly the 13th. If you are interested, please email Coach Alexander at salexander at sd206.org. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Jazz. That's Bloom Scene. Teachers, remember to email your announcement to Mr. Cook. We'll see you again.